How's it going everyone? We're back and today we are going to be doing the Sierra Madre DLC. Now I know lots of people absolutely hate, hate, hate this DLC and I am not one of those people. I really, really like this DLC and this video is about me going through the whole thing and getting everything as efficiently as possible. All the vending machine codes, uniques, all the 37 gold bars and more. So first on the list guys, I gotta point out the hollow rifle. This is my favorite weapon in the entire game. It is actually the strongest weapon in the game if you have your energy weapons at 100 and right when you appear at the fountain do not forget the first of five Sierra Madre cards of the Dead Man's Hand collection. And then come to your left, make your way all the way back and then we're going to be grabbing one of Dean's stashes, the first of 15. And it's nice to get this shotgun right now because the enemies in this DLC can be a little much to deal with. You have to actually blow off one of their limbs to keep them dead, so keep that in mind. And then we're just going to be coming this way to the police station where we're going to find some vending machine codes and some good loot. Real quick, you're just going to want to turn off the speakers so that you don't have to suffer and be careful. And then we're going to grab the repair kit vending machine code. And then come this way. You can pick this. I believe it's a hard pack. And then you want to always save these 308 rifles, guys, and don't use them to repair each other because there's only so many in the whole DLC. And then on the coffee table here, we got steady. And then in here, we have two out of 15 Dean stashes. And then right in here, guys, this is key. Do not forget this if you want to pull all the gold bars. You need to pick this average lock and get these C4 explosives and the detonator. Some armor. And then in the room to the far end of the hallway, we have our last vending machine code for 308 rounds. And then come to the far basement. Grab the code to make dog switch personalities. What have we here? The dog not here, you come And then as soon as you get him out of the cage do not forget the second of five dead man's hand cards boom okay now that we're back at the front fountain and we've returned dog we're just gonna come this way little stash right here I wanted to point out because it has an automatic rifle in it and then right here we have the code return outfits so you can return the outfits you find for more Sierra Madre chips. And then up top here on the roof we have the third of 15 Dean stashes and just another bit of loot. Okay. And then from here we're just going to run back, drop down. Come this way, and in this little area, you will find another of Dean's stashes. Four out of fifteen. Okay. Show you there. And now we're just going to be coming to the medical district. Come in here, and any speakers that have those little blue squares, you can shoot. Keep that in mind. I'm just showing them to you guys so that you don't get your head blown off trying to complete my guide. So I always show where the speakers are. And then once you see the clinic, just come this way before you go in. And you will get another card here. This is not one of the five dead man's hands, just another one. And then make your way in. Once you come in, there is a stash of Dean's right here in the corner. That is 5 of 15 right here. You get the code for the stim packs. And just through this door on your right is the Assassin's Suit, which is one of my favorite outfits in this DLC, certainly. Okay, and then you want to come up to the second floor. And when you find these little blue balls, shoot them and they get rid of the hologram people. And then come to this computer. We're going to be getting another vending machine code for MedEx. And then one door down, bottom of this shelf, is another code for Mentats. And then once you're up top here, I'm just going to show you real quick. Come through this door. And then take these stairs up to the rooftop here. 
And there is another of Dean's stashes. This makes six of 15. And then come back into the clinic, go to the far basement, turn the power off, then make your way back upstairs where you find Christine and bring her to the fountain with the rest of them. Okay, guys, now, after we get Christine and Dog, we're heading into the residential district to get Dean Domino. Now you come in here, instantly turn to your left, keep going left, and then come up here and you will find a bit of loot and 7 of 15 stashes. Alright, now back from that front door. Don't get your leg blown off there. Disarm this trap, disarm these. Come over here, another trap, don't step on. And then we have another card, but it is also not one of the five. So there's a total of seven cards I show. And then after that, make your way this way through the cloud. And we will find another stash. Seven of 15. Pretty well halfway there now. Okay. And then... I don't need to hold your hand to finding this building where Dean is. I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. And I just wanted to point out, guys, that if you want to save Dean and not kill him in the end, which I don't really care for, but if you want that, then you do not want to do the speech challenge right here, where he gets really offended and you cannot save him in the end. Okay, and then once he's your friend, make sure to take his tuxedo because it's a unique. So put him in that ugly jumpsuit. And now we're wearing the tuxedo, bitch. After you have all three, the first one that we actually send to their post is Dog. And you just come to Salida del Sol South. It's and like once you come inside, we're going to start our little loot run. So you just come this way, come up these stairs, follow the rooftop all the way to the right. And this is where we find another of Dean's stashes. Okay, now I'll just show you on the map there. It's in this little corner. And then from here, you just want to dart this way. And there is this little shop with the hole in the wall right here. And this is another of Dean's stashes in the cloud, run in and out fast. Boom. 10 out of 15. Okay, now right where you send dog to stand at the switches just come right back and right here is another Dean stash 11 of 15 and then I'm just gonna show you real quick you wanna take dog and come into this area and then hop across here backtrack a little bit and then just by the door is the snow globe, so you get 2,000 Sierra Madre chips and another of Dean's stashes. And then from here, we're just going to come back this way. And yet another of Dean's stashes. 13 out of 15 already, guys. And then once you come in here, we're going to find the vending machine code for Rataway. I need some Rataway, Rataway. Take care of that guy, and then we're just going to be coming back this way. And then once you come this way, all the way up top, you can come to the shelf here, and we find the vending machine code for Rad X. And then we just come this way, jump down here, la la la. Come into this cloud, and I believe this makes 14 of 15. I'll just give you a little peek on the map there. And then from here, just gonna wanna backtrack a little bit. And then when you come this way, guys, you have to jump down and find the final 
15 out of 15 Dean stashes, and then this little key by this skeleton to get out, and then bring Dog back to his post. I have Intelligence 7, you so I just talk him into standing here. Hmm. Of course you can. And then once he's standing here, do not forget to get the Bear Trap Fist schematic just beside him right here, hiding in the rubble. And then now... We are going to be talking about Dean, dropping him off at his post. Next? Once you come here, just enter the cafe, turn left, come around, and then you exit up top where you come out on the roof, and then you just want to climb this little area on the scaffolding, hit that little speaker there because that will antagonize you later. And then up here is one of the most important Bending machine codes, a hologram rifle upgrade, the first of three. And then we're just going to run along here. And we find the code for buff out. Okay, moving along. We're going to leave Dean on the rooftop, and I forgot to show it, but there is a code yeah. right in the corner there for the 308 yeah. automatic the rifle. Still work, so don't forget to grab that trick. just by the little crack where I'm standing. And then he wants you to activate the holograms if you want the good ending, and you have to be nice to all the people. And then you have to activate that one hologram on that computer. And then you can just scale around here and activate the second hologram on this computer. And once you activate holograms, guys, on all computers, then the enemies no longer respawn. And then that just leaves us with Christine. We just need to take her to her post. And we'll be grabbing some loot and goodies along the way. Now, once you get over here to the switching station, all right? I'm going to come inside, I'm just going to run through this to get it done real efficiently. And run through here, speaker, take that out. And then from here, I just hop down here so I don't have to suffer in all the mist for too long. And then right here, guys, your collar is going to start beeping. And just be careful of this trap right here, disarm that. And then hack this computer and you can turn off all the speakers in this area and then you can grab this book read that and increase your repair by three and then once you do this we're just going to be moving along to the next room okay now you can clear out all the fog right here if you activate this if you want to explore around I personally don't care all that much, but, and then if you dart over this way, then you can deactivate the turrets. If you have the hard computer hacking skill, come in here, another hologram rifle upgrade, two of three, and then come over here, grab this key, and then finally to turn off the speakers, you just come and hack this computer. And then you can open this just to grab Christine. And then I just wanted to point out this book here. Grab that, read that, sneak increase by three. And then that key opens this locker in one of the rooms we passed. Don't forget that rifle on the side there. And then you can hack this computer or you can get the code from that locker and this is how you do Christine in the good way so that you don't trap her in the elevator and piss her off for the good ending. And then you the tell her she can activate it all from here. And now that all three sure people are at their posts and we've gained all the loot and the whole maps up until this point, we're just going to be leaving out the door we came. And then if you come this way, there's a key on the desk here. This is just from the switching station door outward. And then once you grab this key, you can get into the maintenance route for the demolition charge vending machine code located on this computer here. Which is the easiest one to miss. Okay guys, now we're triggering the Gala event. I'm not going to hold your hand and walk you through up to the tower. But anyways, once you get here, 
you do not want to miss these two vending machine codes. One for the Super Stim Pack and the third and final one for the Hologram Rifle. And now that that's done, we're going to be entering the Sierra Madre Casino. First thing you do is come into the actual casino part, run up here, you can deactivate the hologram by shooting that. And then shoot that speaker, grab this little code. Don't forget this vending machine code for wine. Look for a way to wake this ghost up. Remind it, it's got guests. Grab that key that's in there, and then we're just going to come through here. Grab this because there's reinforced Sierra Madre armor, and there's not too much of that. Unlock the casino door at this computer. Don't forget to grab this rifle. Shoot that to get rid of the hologram. And then there is the vending machine code for vodka. And after we get that, grab that reinforced helmet. And then we're just going to be coming up here. Turn that off and grab the code for scotch and that is all of the vending machine codes in the whole DLC guys turn the power on and now we are ready to gamble out the casino guys I recommend that you absolutely gamble out this casino every single time because Sierra Madre chips for all those vending machine codes can set you up for the whole game okay so I like to come and do this and then once you make 400, you save. And if you lose twice in a row, you load. And in no time at all, you can get to the max. It took me about 30 minutes to get 10,000 chips from gambling, which is the most you can get. And then you will be kicked out from gambling. And after you get that, you can get a complimentary 1,000 chips at any vending machine. And wearing Dean's outfit, we gambled out the casinos and we are ready to proceed. Now, next on the list is seeing dog so you just gotta come in here grab this key and then backtrack all the way to the casino we were just in come up the stairs walk around la 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 and enter into the kitchen this way immediately you want to turn off the gas and also do not forget this card hiding over here in the corner which is three out of five of the dead man's hand collection now since my speech is at 85, I did a couple speech wins and I made the two personalities merge for the good ending for Dog. Gratitude. Thank you. Okay, now that that is done, we just have two more little pipes to turn off the gas. This one and the one by the door here. And after that, we are ready to proceed to the next person. Okay, now we're going to be dealing with Dean, which I absolutely hate this prick. Now you're going to want to follow my exact steps, you guys, because this part can be a real piss off. So you showed. Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Okay, after he bitches at you from way up there, just want to come in here. Get rid of that. And then shoot this guy. Come in here, turn this off. And grab this backstage key. If you would like to pick this, you can, just for a little more background information on Dean. Dean Domino's blackmail tape. Come in here, shoot that. And then you want to turn off the speakers here before you do anything. Shut that off. Grab Vera's tape. That key. And then after this, we're just going to turn right. Because to get that door open, we have to play the hologram on the projector. We'll just run up here. Get in here, play the tape, and that will shut off all of the hologram guards. And don't forget, lying the congressional way. Speech increased by three. And now we are ready to deal with Prick. Alright, you're resourceful, I'll give you that. 
Now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. What did you say, you little bitch? I'm gonna ruin you. Explode your face, Dean. Okay, guys, now after you blow Dean's head off, you do not want to miss this card because you cannot come back to get it. That is four of five dead man's hand cards. And now that we are done with the theater, we are going to be heading to the suites to deal with Christine. Now, as you make your way through the suites, I'm just going to show you where the hologram balls are to shoot to get rid of them and a couple other little things along the way. So here's one, the first of three, and then you make your way this way. And we're just going to be getting a little stash. This is one of the better stashes. Just turn this off. And in here you can get the code for the heated cosmic knife and the knife spear. So you want to download those. And then you want to come grab this key right here. Hit this computer right here to override the door in the next room that we have to go through. But before we do that, there is actually enough materials in here to make the knife for the schematic that we just got. You just want to grab one of these hot plates, pilot light, and the forceps over here on the counter. And then after you do that, you can just come right to this workbench and craft one. It's not the best, it's not my favorite, but just wanted to show you guys the damage here and what it looks like. And then moving on through that door that we unlocked on that terminal, the stash I was talking about has a set of reinforced guard armor, as well as a couple shotguns. Just unlock it through here. Boom, another nice stash. Got your armor, more stuff, and then you want to just make your way through here. And we have the other projector. Grab this password for that computer if you can't hack it. Turn this off and then just behind this door we have another one. The final one. Okay, now we're just making our way to the room but before we do that we're going to turn this off and then turn off this little gas pipe and now that opens up the shortcut to run to the elevator at the beginning of the suites. Now. Come in here, and just before we talk to her on the left, we're just going to read this book and increase our science again. And then once you come in here, talk to her. You made it. Good. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. And now we do not want to forget the five of five dead man's hand caravan cards and over here the unique Vera dress or suit which is my absolute favorite tux to wear when I gamble at the casinos in Vegas or in this casino and yeah if you guys want uh, Vera Keys audition tape to listen to there's that and just plenty of other good stuff and then after you talk to Christine then you just have to come back to the lobby and then activate this terminal, go through the settings, and then make your way back to Christine. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But no one to let go. Sounds like you. And then as she's leading you to the vault, there's a second Vera's outfit there, so you can have two, which is awesome. I came all this way. Begin again. Okay guys. Now here we go. The vault. The vault, the vault, the vault. Now, follow my exact details and path or you will be completely frustrated and get your head blown off a hundred times. Okay, now, shoot that speaker, jump down this way, and then dart to this corner. And from here, you can reach two speakers. Wait until it stops, then start running again, and just do not stop. Jump here, onto there, make your way here. And then, you're greeted with these three guards. Just dart this way. And then shoot this, make sure you get the first of the three, and then come here, activate this quick, turn the security off, open the door, and then once you do that, run this way, hop up here, and just walk across this beam, and you're gonna shoot that, which is the second of three, and then come over here, three of three, and the room is safe. Now, 
We're gonna come this way and turn off the speakers and security lockdown and now we will be making our way into the grand vault. Open the door, come on inside. Don't forget to come right here and loot all this because there's tons of good stuff and then collect the glorious, glorious, beautiful, shining, amazing gold bars. Disable the security and then go back to the main terminal read all the stuff but do not ever read Sinclair's personal account or you will be locked in here you can talk with Elijah as long as you want but I'm not gonna show it and waste all of our time and then as soon as he says he's coming down guys you wanna dart keep in mind we're carrying all those bars at this point so creep over here and then those C4 explosives that I showed you where to get in the police station you're gonna want to throw down all three right here and then just walk over here you should only have to take out one turret drop all those gold bars right there where I just dropped them and then after you take out that turret those gold bars are sitting there wait till he gets kind of in the middle of that window blow those charges and then drag his body as fast as you can over here and then once you get him across pick the gold bars up put everything in your inventory there and then just run with no clothes on because that's how you run the fastest and you guys I make a couple shortcuts right here and you have to take these if you want to do this from here just jump right down get in there and then be careful on this little turn here it can be a little tricky and then once you come in here real quick grab that and this right here is the most stressful situation I have ever been in in, follow in my entire life right here my heart starts beating my hands start sweating and I start screaming ah! and ladies and gentlemen that is it that is how you get all of the gold bars all of the vending machine codes all the dead man's hands and all the good stuff from this DLC hopefully after all this if you didn't enjoy yourself at least you didn't totally suffer and hate it but anyways now once we're back in here do not forget you can spend all of those CR Madre chips right here you can set yourself with stim packs for the entire rest of the game get the rest of the hologram rifle upgrades and yeah this is some of the good stuff that you pull and I really hope you guys like this video I think finally after making it I can let go and I will catch you guys in the next one peace